Hi, I'm Mr. T, and I want to welcome you to some foolery. This episode may contain doll violence, adult humor, and language. And knowing this fool, a doll might be bucket naked. May I present to you the mayor of Edmonton and voted most foolish with his money, Edmund. For me? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, and welcome back to My Collectible World. Today, I'm going to be reviewing and unboxing Elegant Rose Barbie from the Fashion Model series. I'm gonna jump right in. We're gonna take a closer look at the Elegant Rose Barbie from the Fashion Model collection. Back here, it says that there are only, what, no more than 20,000 worldwide made. So that's pretty cool. All right. Oh, one thing I did want to point out to you, it looks like she retailed for $75, but lucky me, looks like I got her for $29.99. Now, I will say that I did purchase this doll a while ago, and please don't be like me. Don't be like Miss Sophia. You really should not let your dolls uh, that would you buy, uh, you really should take a look at them when you first buy them, and I did not do that. So don't be like me in that, but what a deal. Anyway, let's take a look and see what she looks like. I always love that gold foil stuff. Let's get this off. And let's get this off of her. Oh, very beautiful. I love that the hat did not come on her. It looks like the hat is down here wrapped in plastic. I'm always nervous about staining, so I'm so glad that they did that. Looks like her tights are, or pantyhose are on her. Um, they look really good, but I want to take a course, a closer look at that face. Wow, she's really pretty, huh? Yeah. Super pretty. So now I got to figure out how am I going to get her out of this weight? Oh, look, look at this. She's one of the articulated silk stones. It's very cool. One of the reasons why I bought her was I heard that she was an articulated silk stone. I didn't know it uh, myself. So, so cool to see that. Anyway, um, let's see if I can get her out of this box in a genteel way. The box is actually really nice. I'm thinking if I can get this sticker off, I actually might be able to repurpose this. And of course, this is hoarder uh, behavior that I am exhibiting, I admit it. But the box is really nice and I think I might be able to use it for some sort of photo or display or something like that. So keeping that in mind, I'm gonna try to be a little bit genteel with opening uh, this doll. So I've got her out of the, well, not quite out of the box. It looks like she's got a little certificate of authenticity. I don't know how you guys feel about these are certificates of authenticity. I really don't care. I usually know that this is an uh, our, uh, authentic doll, but I don't know. If you want to talk about that in the comments, please let me know. I'd like to know what your thoughts are. I usually just throw those things away. I usually don't care. Um, but, you know, that's me. It's not everybody. Um, it looks like they've tied her down really good, which is good because you don't want a doll to move around and look like she's been possessed by the devil by the time she's reached you. I've had that happen quite a few times, and it's quite startling because you think, oh, my God, they've given me something broken. But uh, actually, no, it's just been loosely packed. And okay, yeah, these knots are getting on my nerves. Oh, look at me, look at me. If I keep with the power of belief, I can do it. Looks like we've got a little space of a stand here. I'm going to see if I can get this out. Okay, oh, more things tied up, okay. Like I said, it's supposed to be for the good of the doll, so I can't complain about that, although it does get a little bit annoying. This piece of tape here is getting on my nerves, so I always try to keep my tools nearby. 
So let's cut that and see if we can. This is tied down. So for the sake of time, I'm going to use my scissors and just cut these strings. I know not everybody does this. Some people want to resell their dolls and have them with the original ribbons and all that stuff. But right now I want to just get her out. All right, so here we go. She's out now and put her down for just a second. Here's the other part of her stand and her hat. Let's see if we can take a close look at that. I will take that out in just a moment. In the meantime, here she is out of her box. And I think she's super pretty. She comes with her little clutch that is attached to her. And of course her little tag, her pantyhose, and her shoes, as you can see. So, what kind of, oh, we've still got these strings on from the doll. Oh my God. It's like, she's like possessed by the packaging. How do I get this off? All right, we're gonna, oh, okay. Well, while we're trying to figure that out, we can take a look and see what kind of buttons and how this outfit is uh, put together. So look, it's got the regular snap buttons, which some complainers, uh, I'm sorry, some collectors complain about. I am not one of them. I've got these big man hands and it's not really easy for me to use the uh, more elegant uh, clips that the uh, some of the other manufacturers use. Um, so I'm loosening this up and I'm pulling strings. Okay. And it looks like, ah, uh, it looks like this is, she's sewn into this a little bit. Or is this pinched in? Should I, what should I do? Um, ah, look at that. All right. Look, see the power of belief. All right. So look like on the gloves, they've got a little protective plastic here. So to make sure that she doesn't stain. I kind of want to now see what this body is looking like. So I think I'm going to get her out of this. Let me clear up some of my mess here. If you hear a kapoom, that's just me dropping something on the floor. All right, so it looks like we've gotten this loosened. So let's see if we can pull this off of her. And clear plastic. Also, let's take a look at these earrings. Earrings are really beautiful. Now, they've got the little plastic thing here to make sure that it doesn't um, give her staining later on down the line. I can take those off, but I did want you to see just how beautiful the, uh, the jewelry is. All right, so let's get these clothes off. We're gonna take a look and see how she looks. Mr. T warned you if you're not 15 or older, this is not for you. If you're a mature adult, you can handle a naked piece of plastic. All right, so that just came off. Looks like the top, the dress is not one complete dress. This is a top portion. And looks like it has a little uh, plastic shoulder straps. And Let's see, we can put this down a little bit and pantyhose. Now they've got her shoes secured with these uh, little plastic things. And I love that they do that because I lose stuff all the time. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to remove this. And let's take a look. Might as well just take off the pantyhose too, right? All right, we're gonna pull this down and see if we can take a look. This is a little tight back here. What's going on? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm having a little trouble here. Let's see. Ah, okay. User error, I believe. It's really tight on her, I guess. I don't know. Let me, okay, there we go. 
All right, so this is the articulated silkstone body. Now, a lot of people were upset about this and a lot of people were happy about this. I'm one of the people that was happy. I love an articulated doll, I prefer it. I'm not really good at posing, so if it's the doll's articulated, it's a little bit easier for me to photograph it and pose it. And I like to try to do more a more natural pose if I can. So I love that she's articulated. I will say that the original Silkstone body was a lot more uh, glamorous and beautiful, I, in my opinion, than this. But I can still work with this. I love that she is articulated. She's very pretty. And I want to say thank you to Mattel for listening to collectors who I would like and prefer articulated dolls. Thank you very much. Um, all right, well, this is what the body looks like. I'm going to put some clothes back on her. So as I was getting her dressed, I realized that there's a certain versatility to her outfit that I thought I would show you. So one thing I wanted to show you is without this shell top, this is what the dress looks like. And you really can't see this bow detail with the shell on and it's really pretty to me it's pretty enough to stand without the shell if that's the look that you're going for you can also have the hat put on her without the shell and that's how it looks i think it's very pretty um wanted to also actually show you the detail of the shell here and it buttons from the back and that looks like the same rose petal pattern that's on her dress. Also, the shoes, I wanted to show you the uh, detail of them. They're actually very nice. They're soft, but still quite nice. So I just wanted you to see the detail and of course, the base that it comes with. Just a standard doll base, nothing to write home about, but hey, happy to get a stand with her. So anyway, um, let me get her with the panel. All right, I would like to welcome our celebrity panel. Woo! First off, actress, singer, model, star, Empress of Edmonton, Alyssa. Also, fashion icon, first lady of Mattel, Barbie Millicent Roberts, and Midge. Everyone's best friend. Uh, Midge, tell me, why are you wearing those glasses? I don't understand what's going on here. You said you wanted to take a closer look at Janae's best friend? Wait, there's something happening in the studio. Oh, I don't know what is happening here. Wait, I see an Alyssa. Wait a minute. I see another Alyssa. What's going on here? Sophia Petrillo? What's happening? What? Can't fight. What? Stop it. Stop. So Barbie, what are your thoughts on Elegant Rose Barbie? Well, you say she has a very beautiful face. You love the outfit. You love the quality. Even the shoes, the stand. You can't get over that face, that hair, the jewelry. Comes with a little hat. Let's see that face one more time. You absolutely love her. Perfection. Alyssa, what are your thoughts? Uh, you said she's all right. Any, okay. And Midge, everyone's best friend, what are your thoughts? 10, oh Midge. You are so supportive. You are everyone's best friend. Well, I want to thank everyone in our panel for showing up today and helping us review. And I'm going to come in with my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on Elegant Rose Barbie, she's a keeper. I think you get really good value with her. The outfit is made really well, would look good on a variety of dolls and figures. Also, I see a lot of redressing possibilities with her. And the fact also that she's articulated? That's awesome. Total tens across the board. Really good job, Mattel, on her. If you'd like this video, please hit the like button. 
and I would love for you to subscribe. So anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day.